afternoon, I'm Dave Canterbury at the Pathfinder School, guys. What I wanted to do today, I don't do very many product reviews anymore for different reasons. Um, there are certain products that I promote, but I try not to push those products on YouTube as well as the products that I carry on my website for certain personal reasons at this point and some contractual reasons as well. But what I wanted to do today was I wanted to share a product with you that I found on the internet that I haven't bought from a certain dealer or it's not really a certain brand name but it's a very very good product in and of itself and when you combine it with the other product that goes with it which I bought from somewhere else I'm going to show you how well that product works as far as I'm concerned um, while I was at the Pathfinder gathering this year I met a gentleman that I traded an ILB United States Marine Corps pack from and I looked at this pack and it was so bulletproof in its design um, it's really really heavy like 1000 denier material it's got a lot of big room in it. it's like one big bucket pack and that's what I like I like big heavy open packs with not a lot of pockets on them because then you just have problems figuring out where you put stuff so I like a big open bucket packet the, this has got the US Marine Corps emblem right on the inside of it um, it was designed by Arctex made by proper and it's a very very heavy duty pack all the buckles are sturdy in it all the zipper pulls that are on this pack have a piece of paracord attached to the zipper with a piece of rubber hosing over the top of that paracord and it's knotted at the end or it's like a heavy duty paracord type material but it makes them real easy to grab onto you know even in the dark or something like that you can grab that and you'll be able to see it and grab a hold of it very easy and that enables you to be able to get it out of that pack easily without having to struggle even if you have gloves on with little zippers and I like that real well the top of the pack can be completely removed if you want to but it does have a nice big compartment in the lid of this pack that's got a big open area for you to store stuff that you need right at hand it also has a very good suspension system on the pack it has handles on both sides again that have that heavy rubber tubing on them so you can pick them up it has a strap on the back of it to pick it up it has a giant you know almost looks like some kind of an esoteric you know something out of a 3d movie on the back of it for a pad that goes against your back to keep you from sweating. It has a very, very good suspension system on it. Something like I haven't seen on any inexpensive type packs. This is more of something you'd see on like an Arcteryx pack that costs four or five hundred dollars. Not a pack that you can get off the internet for 150 bucks or less depending on the condition you buy it in, depending on who you buy it from, whether it's on eBay, Amazon, from an army surplus store, something like that because these are a surplus design pack or a surplus style pack now you're not going to get one of these brand new most likely it can be slightly used but it probably won't be brand new the good thing about it is is like I said it's a giant pack it holds a ton of stuff it's like 5400 cube if I remember right don't quote me on that but I think that's pretty close um, it also has zippers on the side so that you can actually get to your contents without opening the lid of your pack if you want to and you can get on the inside of that pack to get to your items it has one divider that's rolled up inside the pack so that you could actually, if you wanted to, I'll open this up so you can see it. There's a divider in here, right here, that's not connected right now, that actually connects to both sides of the pack with six attachment points, so that you basically have a lower half of your pack and an upper half of your pack. If you wanted to access the contents from the side like that, you could put your sleep system in the bottom and all your other important equipment at the top. Then it also has a pocket inside the pack that's pretty good size right here. That's also removable if you choose to do so. But it's a pretty big pack just to put quickie items that you need, your compass, your light, things like that that you might have to have on the fly that you don't want to keep, you know, in your top pocket maybe. You can keep in this pocket as well. What I generally keep in here is like a med kit when I'm out teaching students. I keep the med kit in here. So that works out real well. But like I said, it's got two great big pouches on the bottom of it. You can actually put a 32-ounce water bottle in here sideways, not up and down, but sideways. It'll hold a 32-ounce uh Nalgene bottle or got design bottle very easily like that so that you put those on the bottom and they're based at the bottom where the hip strap weight is so you get most of that weight right there on your hips and that waist strap belt that you got that's so big and heavy will support that weight so all in all you know this is a very very bomb proof pack with a lot of storage space in it for not a lot of money it's a good common man item what I wanted to tell you about this pack was you know after I bought this pack I got to kind of thinking I've been a sea line guy for a long time and I like sea line dry bags. They work really good in my kit and out of my kit. And I've actually got sea line dry bags that are backpacks. They work really, really well. But I like this pack. I like the design of it. I like a few outside pockets here and there just to get the gear at a quick 
access so I don't have to open up the whole dry bag to get to them. Well, what I found out was when I did a little bit of research on this is that C-Line actually makes an insert bag for this pack that is a C-Line waterproof bag, and it's right here. I ordered one of these off Amazon. It's about 30 bucks, 35 bucks, something like that. It has a release valve in it here so that you can release the air out of it if you want to. It comes with a set of simple instructions with the U.S. Marine Corps emblem on the back of them that tells you how to use the bag. It's just like any other dry bag, guys. You just roll it up until you get down to your equipment. You fold it over and it has two clips on it that clip it up. Now, here's the beauty of this bag, okay? Number one, it's waterproof. So you can put all your gear inside this pack and have it waterproof no matter what. Whoever designed this bag thought about things really hard because there's a couple big advantages to this bag. Here's the biggest advantage I see to it. Besides the fact that it's waterproof, it's orange on the inside. This is a U.S. Marine Corps standard bag for this pack and they've made it orange on the inside for signaling for search and rescue. That's a bomber if you ask me. It also, because it's orange, reflects a lot of light on the inside of the bag so that you can see the contents inside the bag a lot easier. You're not looking into really a dark space because you have that reflective orange material inside there to reflect light into your gear. Now, here's another great thing about this insert. Whip this thing up real quick into the air, fold it over real fast, and we'll roll it down a few times until we get the air locked into it. And you'll see this bag holds quite a bit of air. I could get more in it than that if I wanted to, but if I wanted to take my gear out of this bag, throw it in this pack, and put it on my back, put my arm right through this hole, I got a flotation device. I can float across a river, a stream crossing, something like that. In case I lose my footing, I've got this flotation with me. And this thing holds air very, very well. Unless, of course, you open this valve, which has an open and shut label on it. And then you can hear all that air coming out of that bag, which what that enables you to do is put your gear in it, lock it down, open it up, squeeze the air out of it so that it slides down into your bag easier and you don't have this great big bulky thing going into your bag. That's a big advantage over the normal C-Line type bags that don't have that air release. So, you know, this bag is about 100, 150 bucks, something like that, on the internet if you find the right supplier. This dry bag that's made for this bag, and it says right on it, you know, it says emergency use turn bag inside out for search and rescue marker because it's orange. It has the NSN number right on it. It says C-Line Cascade Designs right on it, and it's made for the ILB waterproof bag assault pack. It's made for this pack, and it's an absolute perfect design. That combo, in my opinion, is pretty much bomb-proof. If you're looking for a pack and a dry bag that you can use in any conditions and any environment, I would say this is it. So, like I said, I don't do too many product reviews, but I wanted to show you guys this. Um, there are, they're all over Amazon.com. They're all over the Internet. All you have to do is put in ILBE Assault Pack, U.S. Marine Corps or dry bag and you can find both of these items on the internet. Like I said, you could have both of these probably for well under $200 and have a pack that would last you probably a lifetime. So with that said, I'm Dave Canterbury at the Pathfinder School. I thank you for joining me on this quick product review. I thank you for your views. I thank you for your support and I'll be back with another video very soon.